Luis Severino is officially out with Tommy John surgery, and he'll be out to probably mid-next season. How does this affect the Yankees and the AL East? Hey guys, this is Josh, the 90 Know It All. Coming to you today, once again, to talk about Luis Severino and his injury. He'll be out for this year, half of next year, most likely, with Tommy John. Before we jump into that, guys, take a minute, hit subscribe. It lets you know when we have new videos coming out. We have lots of great content with interviews, discussions about what's going on in Major League Baseball, college baseball, just really talking baseball all the time, having fun, just enjoying things. So, guys, let's jump into this. How big of an impact does this actually have? on the Yankees, how big of an impact does it have on the American League East? Now, I'll say right off the bat, I don't think this impacts the Yankees in a big way. Uh, it does obviously have an impact. He is one of the best pitchers in the game when he's healthy, when he's throwing, he can flat out deal. But at the same time, last year, the Yankees were just fine. He only pitched 12 innings the whole season. So it wasn't like they were relying on him last year in that playoff run to, you know, to win the division, they didn't really need him in essence. Having him would have been a huge boost, but they didn't have him. This year, kind of the same thing. Getting him back would have been big. It would have been huge for them. But once again, they won enough games to win the division last year. So I don't really see that as being something that, that hinders their playoff run this year. I still see them as the favorite. And let's be honest. Severino was never going to be the ace this year. It doesn't matter if he was 100% healthy. He was not the ace. Garrett Cole is the ace of the Yankees now and will be for a few years, rightfully so. Uh, I still want to see how Cole does at Yankee Stadium on a regular basis. I know he's a born and raised Yankee fan, so that will help. Uh, the fans, I think, will accept him pretty quickly uh, because he is Garrett Cole. He's proven that he can pitch in big games. So... You know, I, I think he'll be fine. So I don't think the Yankees are really hurting. I think if anything, there's other injuries, other things that have happened to the team that might have a bigger impact. Um, once again, simply not because Severino was a bad player, but because he didn't play even last year, really. Really, other than the 12 innings, he didn't play at all. Wasn't much of a factor. They still won. So I think there's other injuries. Uh, I think Paxton being hurt to start the season might be a bigger impact. Uh, Stanton is now nursing a hamstring injury. That could be a that could be a long term injury, something that lasts for weeks, even months. Uh, the hamstring is a tough thing to, to deal with, so that could be a big impact. But once again, I think there's other factors. I don't think this affects the Yankees in a major way, other than the fact they're losing a big time guy who could have been a big help, but is not necessarily a needed help to get to the playoffs. Uh, maybe in the playoff run, that'd be a different story, but you know, it is what it is. You know, I mentioned like Paxton, he's hurt with his back. And first of all, James Paxton is one of my favorite players to interact with. Interacted with him a few times, a lot of fun, but he's injury prone. I mean, he just, I don't know what it is about certain guys that if it's just bad luck, if it's just their body or what it is, they just seem to get hurt all the time. And I don't think Paxton's soft. I don't think anything like that. I don't think he's not a competitor. I think he goes out there wanting to win every day. His, his body just doesn't hold up the way he needs it to hold up. Uh, it lets him down. So I think that's, that's, a, I think that's a big loss for the Yankees. So you know, Severino, once again, being gone hurts because it would have been an upgrade from what they had last year. But they're not going to be downgraded because, once again, they didn't have him. And let's be honest, the Yankees are going to win or lose by their offense. You know, it's the it's the home run hitting, run producing offense that's going to take this team uh, to the playoffs and a World Series run. The pitching is important, but the offense is the key to this team. You know, Aaron Judge, him staying healthy is going to be really important. Uh, Torres, him being healthy the whole season. Gary Sanchez coming out and not just you know swinging for the fence, having a good solid offensive season is going to be important. So. I think there's other areas of this team that are more important for them winning long term uh, than Severino, but once again, Severino is important. You know, he he could have been a big help, could have been a big upgrade, but in the end, he wasn't there last year. 
and you add Garrett Cole, the Yankees are fine. And let's be honest, in the East, Boston, I don't think is going to compete this year. I think that the loss of Betts, it's knocking that team down. I think they lost a few other guys in free agency that could have really had a positive impact, and they're gone, so that hurts. Toronto is not going to be competing this year. I know they, they have young, talented people. You know, they got Guerrero. They've got Biggio, Bichette. But they're not ready to compete yet. They're just not ready to compete yet. And Baltimore, not even in this. I don't know how long they are out from being competitive. Tampa Bay will be competitive. They always are. Regardless of who they have on their team, they always seem to be competitive, make playoff runs. So they'll be competitive, but... This is the Yankees' division to win, even without Severino, even with Paxton hurt at first, even with Stanton, I know, being questionable with his injury. It's still the Yankees' division. They're going to make a run. I expect them still to win the division and be a World Series contender. Uh, now, this does hurt. A few, another injury or two injuries to key players, this could turn the season around for them in a negative way. But right now, I'm not looking at them as being diminished or being lacking in what it takes to win the division. So I still have the Yankees winning the division, probably winning the division by at least five games, if not more. So they'll have it pretty solidly. They'll have a good season, and they'll prepare for the playoffs like they always do. So those are my thoughts, guys. What are your thoughts on the Severino injury? Do you think this will make a big impact on the season? Or like I said, he only pitched 12 innings last year. They did it without him, so they'll do it again. So just my thoughts, guys. Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, subscribe. It does help out the channel. It lets you know when new videos come out. We're putting stuff out every day. Talking about Major League Baseball, college baseball. Just fun topics that are baseball related. So, guys, I'm Josh, the 90 Know-It-All. Talk to you later.